Hey YouTube, it's your boy Widgie here, coming at you with some more Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And we've got another casted game. And this one was submitted by Shake, and it is himself here playing as the French on the bottom right part of the map in the pink. And we've got Passy here on the top left part of the map playing as the Germans in the Cyan. And all I can say is, is that Shake said um that this is kind of a wild game lots of different types of units lots of crazy sort of raiding that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say on this so i hope you guys really enjoy it it's on a map that i actually quite enjoy and i know a lot of you are saying widgie what map is it um and yeah I, I don't actually know what map it is what it's called i'm terrible with stuff like this um but you know it is what it is it is what it is so let's have a look here so shake playing as the french a civilization that I haven't really played that much at all. Very versatile, very just strong, well-rounded civilization. You could do many things with this Civ. And we can see here that Shake has gone for a TP opening. Sometimes you can go TP opening, you can go market opening, many things you can do. And we can see here that he is going to be trying to prioritize this 85 food treasure. He's got three hyenas here that he's going to need to fight to be able to get that. And if we have a quick look at Passy here... We can see that he is just grabbing himself a treasure as well. 100 XP is going to be coming in, and he's getting his first card here. Let's have a look at Passy's deck. Here it is in the flesh. Very, very standard, guys. This is a sort of bread and butter German deck here. Very, very standard. If you want to learn Germany, I say this a lot actually on Caster Games, but if you want to learn Germany, if you want to do well, this is a very good straightforward 1v1 deck. Also pretty good for team games as well well okay let's have a quick look over at shake here just herding in doing what he needs to do he is going to be getting three cdbs courier de bois are going to be coming out and let's have a look at his 1v1 deck a little bit different we do see the uh Etion regime here which is the house of bourbon which basically means that you're going to be getting the uh raw embassy and you can use this to russian stuff and it pairs very well with wilderness warfare uh, which basically means native warriors and stuff like that also get HP upgrades as well. So once again, very different things you can do with French, especially from a recent update that happened maybe around six months ago now, uh, maybe a little bit less, that, that really changed France uh, with what it can do. And oh, is he going to get that? Passy managed to grab it here and shake very, very low here. 16 HP and looks like he's going to be losing his explorer there. His gun's going to be flipping onto the floor. There it is. See you later. And Passy feeling pretty good there. Grabbing 80 food. Got decent HP left on his explorer. And shake now is on the age up. He's going to be going for the quartermaster. He's aged up on 14 vils. And same with Passy here. Just a little bit behind. Not too much though. Also going up with the quartermaster as well. And I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. I, I don't know if you kind of make Cav here as, as Germany against France. Uh, maybe a tower rush could be something unusual that you could maybe try. I know that he definitely needs to get the hunt in here, which he is going to be doing, which is awesome. And yeah, I think he's just going to be getting a TP in transition here. Very, very standard. This is as standard as you want for Germany. Go go sort of house market. You get hunting dogs. You then put a trading post down in a transition there. So very, very standard. Let's have a quick look back at Shake here. See what he's up to. He's going to also be getting now his hunting dogs in, in transition. And he's getting a lot of food here. He's collecting quite a bit of food. And now going for placer mines. So I don't know. I'm going to call maybe just like a semi FF. Maybe going to be dropping down a stables once the wood comes. That's normally quite a common thing with French players. It's not necessarily the best thing though, especially after the masterclass that I did with Kaiser Klein uh, with the French. If you haven't seen my masterclass videos, make sure to go check that out. I've covered quite a few sieves, plenty more to go. <laughs> And we can now see the wood is dropping. So Passy also getting into age two. Four CDBs now are going to be coming in. And of course, immediately getting steel traps. Very, very important. And boom, no, there it is. The stable opening is happening, folks. Looks like we're probably going to be seeing maybe four CDB straight into 700 coin. Oh, no, 700 wood. Okay. All right, shut me up. 700 wood and then maybe 700 coin after that. And then looking to potentially age up. I don't want to call everything, but 
We do now see Passy doing a similar kind of thing here. Very similar, actually. Going three settler wagons and then 700 wood. So both of them going for a cav semi. Potentially. It looks like both of them are definitely going for a cav opening. Germany, very good with cav openings because you get Ulans with your shipments, guys. Remember that as Germany. You have a really good sort of momentum early on with the cav that you have. Ulans have a ridiculously high amount of hand attack. 37 compared to normal Hussars. And we're going to see what a normal Hussar, how much a normal Hussar can actually hit for. I actually can't remember. I don't know these things that much, but we'll see. It's definitely not as high. So that's why Ulans are so good at raiding. So when you're going against Germany, make sure you've got some kind of protection. Yes, look, 30 hand attack for normal Hussars. And looks like Sheik's going to be seeing off Passy here. But we've got some reinforcing Ulans here. Quite scary. Passy going to be creating another batch. And then probably going to be going for the 700 coin after that. And then aging up. A nice classic harass. Looks like Cav is going to be crossing in the night there. Crossing past each other. It looks like Passy has noticed the Hussars coming in. And we do actually see now Barracks coming down for Shake. So, you know, wants to react to these this Ulans, uh, the Ulan raids potentially. I don't know if we're going to see 700 coin coming in. He's got quite a bit of wood stacked still, to be honest. Um, maybe some pike with that, with that wood potentially. Seems to be quite a lot there. So he is just going to be... Actually, he's going to be going for the three Hussar shipment. I don't know how I feel about the three Hussar shipment. I'm going to be honest with you. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I'd ever ship that myself, personally. Uh, especially with like the natives where you can get four axe riders, four canyon horsemen, three Hussars. I know Hussars are slightly better, but for me doesn't seem like a worthwhile card in my honest opinion we are going to be seeing some musketeers now great for that defense fantastic for the offense against the ulans here and i think we better get for get ready for some potential raiding here definitely as we start to progress a little bit more into the game you can see now 12 ulans standing for passy and he is definitely looking for the age up you can see he's he stopped all of his training and he's getting that coin ready and, and the food is on the way. So, yeah, he's definitely going to be looking to age up. Shake here, on the other hand, is sort of still committed in age two. Uh, you can definitely see now he is. He's got eight crossbowmen on the way. He's going to try and do some kind of timing push here. See what kind of damage he can do. I assume he's probably, you know, he's probably assuming that uh, Passy is going to be going age three. So he needs to do as much damage as he can right now. And we can see here the Minutemen called. They are only on one HP now. And Shake just going to absolutely brazenly just go straight in, trying to get on top of the Settler Wagons here. Is he going to be able to get a Settler Wagon? He's going to be able to get one of them. Absolutely huge. Easily take down the Militia. They've only got one HP each. They're going to be going down in one swipe. Don't want to let them stay up, actually. There is an Explorer there. And one Militiaman still does stand. But the Ulans are going to be tussling with the Hussars here. Ulans overall are going to do a great job here. I think Patsy should just go in. There's only two Musketeers here. He just needs to go in, I think. We can see that he does have a Dops shipment on the way. But Patsy's going to be okay here, I think. I think he's going to be all right. However, Ulans, their, their HP isn't as good. But you can see that their damage is just very, very very uh, superior here um, being able to clean up those hussars and Sheik's going to have to retreat his musketeers so he's in a bit of a, a sticky situation we see Passy now comfortably in age 3, defended pretty well, he's got 3 war wagons and more on the way so the war wagon mass is going to start and Sheik over this side here is just going to continue in age 2, he's in a kind of awkward position and this happens with me sometimes and maybe it happens with you guys you kind of push somewhat somebody, you don't do a lot of damage or you don't do enough, and then they age up and then you're not in a position anywhere at all to be able to age. So what do you do? Well, there's two options. You either double down in age two and potentially raid, you know, disrupt economy for your opponent, or you try and macro best as you can and try and age up behind him and see if you can get there. We do see a raid, however. Me rambling on. One of those CDBs. Two of those CDBs going to be going down. Absolutely huge. And Shakes Hussars here are going to just try and cut them off. Is a third one going to go down? Oh, that's unfortunate. 
I would definitely have sacrificed those Ulans for a, for a third CDB. We do see now some war wagons slipping past Shake's infantry there. And the war wagons on their own are not the best. They need to have a little bit of infantry with them to be really, really effective. There's only three on the battlefield right now. Passy has got some skirms on the way though but he needs to be careful with this though because he doesn't want to lose these so easily one of them is going to be going down and, and the crossbowman doing a fantastic job another one's going down and wow clearing up those three war wagons that was a really good trade for shake there doing a fantastic job at snaring the war wagons as well with the hussars and he's actually now looking in a pretty good position an okay position he just needs to hold for the onslaught of shipments from passy because if you guys have never played against Germany or you've played Germany before, the shipment tempo is nuts in age three, especially if you go for like a semi-FF, which Passy has gone. We can see that he's still sort of poking around here with the war wagons. And let's have a look at Shake here. Is he actually thinking about aging up? He is. He's already doing it. Fantastic. So he's going for the Exiled Prince, the, the fast age up. And he's also taking the native TP. Very, very nice TP on this map. You get the Berbers. Berbers are fantastic because they give you Berber Nomads, which are extra sort of buffed villagers, very good at gathering natural resources, but they're bad at farms and stuff like that. So very good to get them as early as you can. And we can see actually over here, I'm, I'm so sorry, we can see some raids here going on. I've just missed that one. I apologize. I don't know if any CDBs were lost, but... Shake's going to have to really protect both his north and south hunt here. And it looks like Passy is moving in. And I don't... This map is really harsh on hunts, guys. Really, really harsh. They either go right to the corner of the map like here, or they sort of go further out into the map. So you've really got to keep an eye on where your hunts are going. Think about your future hunts as well. And we can see Passy doing a good job sort of clearing Shake off of that hunt there. And, and he's going to lose that. So he's going to lose that food economy. And his only hunt that he has available is this one right here. And he has one on the left side here that he could potentially go out to as well. We can see, though, that he's macro perfectly. He's getting the Vet Musk in. He's got that in already. He's got his two Falks from his shipment. And he is now training Berber Camel Riders. Now, Berber Camel Riders, I thought, were like heavy cav. But they are light cavalry. And we can see here, they do bonus damage against shock infantry and cav. So they are very good against any kind of cav unit. They're basically like a pikeman on a, on a horseback. They're pikeman on horseback. That's all you need to think about them as they're light cav, so skirms will counter them. And we do see Passy with quite a few of them here. So we're going to see an engagement here. The classic two fat push with the, the, the crossbow musketeer with some Berbers. So Berbers are going to be getting stuck in. They're going to be doing some juicy damage. Only five of them, but look at the damage. Passy just ignoring them, trying to just go straight round to the Falks. That is unfortunate that they were not protected properly by Shake there. Both of them are going to be going down. But look at the Berbers clearing up. Just with those five, he's only lost one Berber and he's just cleared up all of those Ulans there. That just shows you the power of, of natives, you know, understanding natives on maps. And we can see now he's, he's looking in a pretty good position. And he is just going to get the Musketeers stuck in. He's just going to get them in melee. He's going to try and shut down those war wagons the best he can right now. And we can see some skirms now on the way for Shake. And he's continuing with the Berbers as well. Another five of them coming out right now. And he hasn't got them upgraded. He hasn't got them upgraded at the TP. And, you know, Passy in a bit of a sticky situation. Shake on 27 Vils. Passy only on 21. He does have Settler Wagons, but also Shake has CDBs. So we can see now that he's forced to go over this way. And maybe, maybe Shake with the vision. Let's turn the vision here. We can see the dead deer is there on the left. So maybe he's going to be able to see it. Maybe he's going to try and raid there. He is going to be moving over here, trying to get a raid with the Berbers. There's some juicy raids here. Is he going to spot the gold mine? No, he's not. And they've got to get on back. But don't worry. Berbers don't do a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, they do have a negative multiplier against villagers. So they're not that scary. They're not terribly scary. But look at their HP. You know, as a light cav unit, 300 HP is very, very scary. And um, Ulans here are going to just try and clear up the, the rest, and they are going to be able to do that. So 
Uh, interesting engagement. Shake, I think, overall, doing a pretty good job there. And we can actually see they're actually sharing a hunt here. I love this. Look how cute this is. We've got the nice period de bois with the settler wagons. And uh, Passy's going to say no more to that, and he's going to start raiding. And boom, there we go. Three CDBs going down now. That is not good news for Shake. And he does not want to... These skirmishes are definitely in the wrong path here. Let's have a look at Passy's vision. He is going to be getting off that hunt very quickly. I tell you what, it's, it's battle of the hunts on this map. Battle of the hunts. And we can see those skirms are definitely going to get locked down here. This is really unfortunate for Shea. Going to be losing those as well. I can't see any corresponding raids from him just yet. We do now see, however, Vet Curaçaos are out. He actually went for the three Curaçaos. Um, no, sorry, he's getting three Curaçaos. He's got five from the stables here. And they're going to be coming on. But look at these raids. Oh, absolutely disgusting on the coin mine here. CDBs are going to have to be pulled. They've got to get involved. They're high HP. Curaçaos ideally better against infantry here. But they're just going to try and tussle, see what they can do. Ulans are not looking too bad in this fight. 44 damage against 30 for the Curaçaos. And a sort of even trade there. Not too bad. And Shake survives. He survives another day, but he's only on 24 vils. And Passy going to have to walk back his skirms. There are going to be no more, I'm afraid. More Curaçaos coming out now for Shake. And we can see Passy on 25 vils, 24 for Shake. So Passy now slightly ahead, I would say, in eco. And more war wagons are being trained. More war wagons and skirms. Very standard war wagon, skirm, Ulan. That is the combo nation for... Oh, my God. Oh, look at the AOE. Oh... Oh, there's some damage. There's some damage there. That's absolutely brutal. Passy is going to be absolutely triggered by this. He's not moving his settler wagons on the coin mine. It's too late, I believe. Is there any war wagons in sight to deal with these Curaçaos? There isn't. And he's just going to have to fight these Ulans first. And he could probably just move up on those skirms, to be honest. There's no kind of anti-cav here for Passy. Shake doing a fantastic job with the Curaçaos absolutely just destroying the vills there only 17 now left for passy shake on 26 however beautiful war wagon pop here he needs to get those curaçaos out and good control good micro there from shake keeping an eye on his curaçaos very very good he is going to be trying to pull in the hunts as well more curaçaos remember these curaçaos guys very expensive 150 coin 150 food and their three population as well so very very scary and we just need some musketeers from shake or skirms skirms sorry better yeah we just need skirms and you can see blunderbuss coming in now that's gonna improve the damage for these curaçaos their range damage so you know with with french don't ever be you know shy of pulling the curry de bois you know they're great meat shields they're really good they tank a lot of damage and they're good when you need them in a pinch and we can see now I don't think Shake's going to wait for his Dragoon shipment that's coming in. He's just going to try and see if he can use the Curry de Bois here to just kind of make them a little bit scary. I mean, I don't know how far Shake's going to go with this. There are f There's quite a few war wagons there, five war wagons. And the Curaçaos are just going to get on top. It's going to see how much damage they can try and do. Skirms are going to be coming in. Trying to take some damage on the war wagons, but war wagons have a really high HP pool. 50 HP. I don't think this was the best engagement here from Shake. I'm um, going to be honest. I think he probably overcommitted a little bit too much there. Maybe wanted just to wait for the Dragoons and then might want to feel a bit better with that engagement, but it's not the end of the world. He is up in score. As I mentioned, 27 Vils. He actually hasn't gone for the Berber Nomads, I don't think. Has he got Berber Nomads? I don't think he has. So he went for the Berber Cav, but it's it's something else. You've got to really kind of macro food and wood here, and CDBs are just going to try and get stuck in. But look at that damage. One volley from the CDB. One volley does, like, nearly a third of the damage to the war wagon here with this many. We've got, we've got quite a few here, like 10 CDBs, I would say. 11. Dragoons are just going to try and chase them down. I think the war wagons are okay here, but the GG is called from Passy. And there we have it, ladies and gents. I think the eco damage was just too much for Passy, and I think he ran out of tempo there with cards. We can see here that he shipped so many unit cards. Look at that. Five unit cards, and unfortunately, 
it was just not enough. Running out of hunts as well, getting challenged on the map, didn't have the wood to be able to even think about going into mills. Shake, great choice there, real clutch, coming in with the native TP with the Berbers, shutting down the Ulans in that. Five of them taking down like 12 Ulans, and there were still four of the Berbers left. Absolutely insane. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this cast between Shake and Passy. Let me know down in the comments below if you've played French before, if you've done a style similar to this on this map. This is kind of a favorite map for me, but it's also one of the least favorite, if that makes sense. Like, when I do well on this map, I really enjoy it. When I'm not, I really hate it. If that kind of makes sense. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish, but guys, thanks very much for joining me on this cast, and I'll catch you in the next video on the next stream. Catch you later, guys. Bye!